Hey guys, you wanna go grab some lunch? Sure. Good, how are you? Good. Hey, what's going on? How much? So you're Monty Melissa Beershank from yeah. Monty Longhorns? Yes. Yeah, right? And you now live here in Oklahoma. So Melissa, you didn't grow up anywhere <laughs> near the Midwest, right? No, I am uh, from Southern California, specifically was raised in Beverly Hills, California. Yeah. And um, moved to Nebraska when I was 40. And then from Nebraska, you ventured on down here. Yeah, Nebraska was a little chilly for me after living in Southern California my whole life, right? So uh, I just uh, I convinced my lovely husband that we should move to a little bit of a warmer climate against his better judgment because he loved Nebraska. Because you were born and raised in Nebraska, right? Yep, Money? I sure was. And uh, you, you were in the military? Yeah, I did uh, 22 years in the Marine Corps with a helicopter pilot. Okay. Any fun stories that you want to share? Uh, well, I, uh, I crashed twice, not, not of my own doing, but uh, I lived to tell about it, so that's my claim to fame. The one time was near El Paso, Texas, right? Uh, one time in El Paso and the other time in Yuma, Arizona. Yeah. With my piloting skills that... Uh, Saved your life. Saved my life. Nice. So you have, how many kids do you have? I got three kids, two daughters and uh, son Nicholas. Yep. And then Nick comes to Longhorn Things every once in a while. He does. So three kids and almost three grandkids. Almost, yeah. I got a little grandson, uh, about a year and a half, and I got a four-year-old granddaughter and uh, another little granddaughter going to be born here at the end of April. Okay. So how did you get involved with Longhorns? Um, so, <laughs> go ahead, dear. Yeah, it depends if you want her version or my version. I'll well, give you, I'll give you the truthful version first. Whatever. We, uh, we got married in 2013 and we built our forever home, moved into it in 2014. And, uh, by 2016, we were moving out of our forever home into our next forever home, which was on an acreage. And I said, uh, hey, it'd be kind of nice if we had a couple Longhorns as yard art. And uh, did, you one, know, did you know somebody that had we, we knew, we didn't know anybody. Okay. So I got on the internet and we found a website and we found a, a, a mama and a baby that we uh, thought were pretty cute. A three in one. A three in one. We didn't, didn't care about horns. We didn't care. They just, they look cute. Right, so we no bought anything, them. Right. And, uh, had them delivered to our uh, our place, and then uh, lo and behold, about six months later, we had 50 cows on our place. Somebody went on a buying spree. You know, hired hand. They make it so easy. They send you these texts. Just I was going to say, hired hand is part buy, of the problem. Buy, it's an buy. addiction. But uh, <laughs> so we had 50 uh, longhorns on 18 acres, and uh, <laughs> that wasn't working out real well. So then. Uh, wife decided that uh, we were going to move to Oklahoma. By then we had made friends with Joe Sedlacek mm -hmm. and um, so he was like oh you should move to Kansas. So we looked at some places in Kansas. Did you really? Yes we did. Okay. And then I was like you know Kansas it's still not very warm there. Right. Yeah we couldn't really find any places that we liked. We drove to Kansas a couple weekends and looked at different places and then um, we actually um, talked to Monty Strickland, and then we talked to Pam Loomis, okay. and she's like, well, I'm a realtor. You guys have to move south of the Arbuckles. You yeah, gotta move Cali. south of the Arbuckles. <laughs> and so that's how we wound up here, living actually right by Bob and Pam, which right. we love them, so right. it's okay. Worked out like Joe Solacek yeah. was part of the problem, too. He, uh, yeah. oh, so it's not only, he, it's not he delivered like a few cows, and then he talks us into... Uh, trading uh, our original cow out for three of three, his yeah. it uh, it was Snowball, a vicious huh? cycle that uh, just kept <laughs> snowballing I come into the whole buying thing it's it comes to me naturally oh this is true I um, so we went to the red Macomb sale last year in May and um, I got a bidder number mm -hmm. and my dad's like let me see that bidder number and he's like hmm and they started bringing cows into the sale ring and 
he just started lifting his bitter number and he started buying some and so one of the cows that we bought awesome tipper uh, we measured her today um, and so we measured her total horn and she was 120 inches total horn so we're pretty excited about that yeah. 88 and a half tip, tip to tip but 120 total horn so yeah that was pretty exciting we're hoping we're hoping to take her to the horn showcase and uh, to the total horn measurement yeah that'd be awesome but your dad doesn't have long horns no he just, he just likes to buy he just likes to bid and buy you know whatever yeah and then for your full-time job i am a freight broker okay i uh I'm in transportation, so to speak, and um, I have an office in my house, mm -hmm. so it's kind of convenient. I have that long commute from my bedroom to my <laughs> office <laughs> every morning, and I'm um, getting better actually about getting out of my pajamas in the morning and putting on sweatpants to go to work. No, it's I really enjoy it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. And Monty, you're full time at the ranch now, right? I am. Yeah, I uh, I retired from the Marine Corps in 2006, and then I went and. Uh, drove truck for a while. I used to haul cattle around. So is that how the two of you met? No, no. I'll, I'll, we'll I'll, tell you about I'll that. I'll tell you about that in just a second. <laughs> uh, and then I uh, went, uh, that was in northeast Nebraska, and then I moved to uh, Omaha, and I uh, got a job with the Air Force as a government civilian for about 10 years. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> we met on uh, Match.com. Uh, back in, I don't know, 2010, and uh, she had come here from California for, or to come to, to Nebraska. Nebraska for a job, and it was the middle of winter, and it was the worst winter we'd had in a long time, and she was there a couple weeks. She could tell her side of this story, but she was crying every weekend that she was lonely, and she was missing California, and she hated the cold weather. Lo and behold, Yours truly came along, and <laughs> she decided that she would stick it out in Nebraska, and one Nebraska. thing led to another. Yeah, that was exactly how it happened, too. Yeah, the part close. about meeting on Match.com is pretty exactly close. the That's part. Pretty close. That's, That's how that. the princess from Beverly Hills met the farm kid from Nebraska, and uh, That's that, huh? so yeah. But I will say this: uh, I had dated a lot of frogs in California, uh -huh. and I did meet my prince in Nebraska, uh -huh. and Monty is the nicest man that I've ever dated in my entire life. I will say that. So what is the best thing about raising longhorns? They're very majestic. I I love animals, so even though I'm a city, a city girl, I had horses growing up. Um, I rode English when I was a little kid, and um, so I had, you know, I was around animals growing up, and um, so I just think they're a very majestic animal, um, and I don't know, they're just very peaceful and beautiful to look at. Um, I like to go out and uh, when they're having babies, and I like the baby part of it. Uh, yeah, he likes to jump on the babies when they're fresh out. I like to ear tag them. I like the yeah. colors. Right. <laughs> uh, the first few we had, I got disappointed because they'd come out all all brown or all white or all one color and everybody was putting these pictures on Facebook of these spotted up things and I'm like how come we can't have any of them and we finally started getting some of those so it's that's kind of exciting. Hot Playboy was a big uh, a big help yeah for sure he, he gives off some really colored up calves. So. so how do you guys decide which animals to, to sell private treaty and which animals to put in a sale? You know, we're so new that it's really hard. Um, we have, this is just the second sale that we've put oh, really? cattle in, um, a sale, yeah. Um, well, we sold, we just sold one private treaty um, the last few weeks ago. Okay. But um, it's just, we've just been building up and mm -hmm. kind of, you know, like that. But um, it's just really hard to know. Um, we've been working with Bear mm -hmm. this last year and he's been really, really helpful. And you know, we, we ask for advice from different people. And every, I mean, it's tough because everybody's got a different opinion of what they like and what they think will sell. And um, I think the market is gonna change um, quite a bit. And I mean, tip to tip is awesome, but I also think it's, you know, I, I like color. Right. I mean, you know, it's great to have 90 inches, but you know, something that's 80 inches that's really really colorful versus something that's you know 90 inches that's all white 
I don't know. Right. I, I don't know. I guess I just, you know, I'm maybe I'm different than everybody else. It's hard to chase after what's hot, too, because if you start reading for black and white, I don't know what, you know, what is in six years, you've bred for all black and white, and right. Brindle's going to be hot in six years. Right. I mean, I don't know. It's so hard. I feel like breeding for what you like. Yeah, you have to look out there after all. And so, what's the funniest thing that's happened while the two of you've been working cows? Nothing that happens while we're working cows is funny. <laughs> uh, the city girl always knows more than the guy that uh, has done this, you know, a good portion of his life. And all you need is a bucket of cubes, and they'll do whatever you want. Oh, they will too. They don't. They do. Uh, so. I've gotten to the point where uh, things just work better if uh, Nick and I work the cows, and because uh, it just it just never works out for me. Okay, so this next uh, set of questions we kind of call them our rapid fire questions. So the first thing that comes to your mind, right? Got ready? Um, your favorite color? Purple. Uh, blue. Um, your favorite place? Key West.